Uh, you may have used our next guest product without even knowing it. Video, the technology behind Google's video chat, Google Hangouts, is joining us today with news that'll take it beyond your traditional tech and into bank accounts. Uh, Ofer Shapiro is the CEO of Video, joins us here at Post 9. Um, really interesting that you allow video to stream over, you know, not so much bandwidth, because that's really important in overseas markets, and, and that's part of what you're announcing today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me today. Uh, the exciting thing about uh, this is it's another example, as you mentioned, that video communication goes beyond the boardroom into everyday people's life, impacting them, in this particular case, in the banking applications. Uh, we as a company, we developed technology and a platform that allows video communication to be plugged into any application, amazing quality, over the internet, great cost structure. And it's now exciting because we've seen over the last 12 months a slew of new applications that are being introduced. And this banking application you mentioned is one of them. And it's in India. Tell exactly how it's going to be used for your consumer on the ground with a phone or a device like that trying to do some banking. So the cool thing about banking, online banking, is it eliminates banks from the burden of having brick and mortar, much less expensive way to deploy the services. But they've discovered that they've kind of lost the human touch. Uh, and they want to make sure that when people need help, they can get it without going to the branch. So they embed the video communication technology from us into uh, their own banking application. So it's like one button in a very secured fashion, a very high quality over the internet, using whatever device you have at home, you can connect to your representative in the bank. Banks here in the U.S. have been shifting away, or at least attempting to shift away from brick and mortar for the better part of a decade. But every time they close a branch or install a video conferencing center, they're described as impersonal or inhuman. How do you maintain the customer relationship through technology? This is their argument. You can't do it. And there's no brand loyalty when you're talking to someone over a video versus going in person. That's, that's absolutely the case. And uh, when we talk to major bank customers, at this point, two out of the 10 major banks in the world have chosen us to um, uh, deploy these kind of services. This is exactly their concern. And one of the ways to address it is to add the human touch. So you're on the banking application, you ran into some problem, you're not sure what to do, one button in a secured fashion, and you're already authenticated, you're calling into the bank, and you have this very secured connection that still has a human touch to it. And, and that could help. It, and time will tell how, how effective that is. Really interesting. We had lunch a couple weeks back, and I made the comparison to arm holdings. You can say you're not selling. You want to be embedded in drones, home cameras, all kinds of different devices. Really interesting. Ofer, thanks for joining us. Thank you.